show with Liv Tyler and <laughs> now, oh, oh, it's Tyler Cox. She's a principal ballerina at New York City Ballet. Um, so w tell me about ballet now. So last July I was asked by the Music Center in Los Angeles to be the first female to curate three evenings of dance. And Elizabeth Moss got word of it and Hulu and they decided to basically film an intimate like what it is behind the scenes. And so oh, great. You, you get to really see me, you know, I'm, I'm a dancer but it's my first time putting it all together, being the director. You know, and are you also in it? Yeah, I wow. danced like seven of the 15 wow. ballets. Oh my God. Crazy. You're like the Barbara Streisand of ballet. <laughs> that's a very good compliment. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, that's great. Well, I can't wait to see it. Uh, Melissa R. texted, who was the most famous person, Liv, to come over for dinner at your house when you were a kid? Oh. Mm. I, w I don't know exactly, but I remember meeting Michael Stipe when I was nine or ten. And he's one of my dearest friends now as an adult. And I really remember him coming over to my stepdad Todd's house and seeing his face and nice. I always really like that but yeah like yeah. like did Jagger ever come over no <laughs> I grew up in Maine though you did I was I re everybody always says every interview about me they say that I'm the daughter of a rock star and I grew up on tour right. but I was at Todd Rundgren was my dad when I was younger I had both of them but yeah. I didn't live with them I lived with my family in Maine and had a relatively normal upbringing where in Maine around Portland around Portland yeah so wow. I, and I moved to New York when I was 12 I think Huh. So, yeah. Um, Not many rock stars coming for dinner. In, in <laughs> Occasionally. Uh, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Maybe like Dwight Yoakam on his way to Kenny Buckley <laughs> to entertain the Bush well, I actually saw Dwight Yoakam play once. Really? He's so good. Yeah. yeah. His skin tight jeans, his big oh, hat. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Is that, he sings that amazing song, um, It Won't Hurt When I Fall Down from This Bar Stool. Yeah. It's a good song. Uh, let's go back to the phones. Call her, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, Andy. Uh, my name is Jenna Price, calling from Bismarck, North Dakota. Hey, Jenna, and what's I your question? Have to, yep. I just have to say, first off, my mom and I love you. Thank uh, you. <laughs> but my question is for Nev. Mm -hmm. Nev, what do you think about fans and your Scream co-star Skeet wanting you to play Jughead's mom on Riverdale? Uh, have there been any actual conversations? I only oh. I heard about this a week ago. I had two friends tell me about it. I haven't seen the show. Okay. And it's funny the skeet hasn't called me. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, campaigning for you to play. He's got my number. He's I'm so down like for you playing it. Jughead's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very into this idea. I gotta, I gotta see it because I know my friends are like, we love that show. It's a good show. <laughs> Is it? Um, I myself have appeared as Andy Cohen on the show. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> but they caught most of my work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to thank Liv, Nev, and Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.